Yeah, so there is fresh update from the camp of Ifia Odor and Shatawale. And Ifia Odor is saying that her relationship with Shatawale got toxic, so she had to withdraw. Yeah, so Ghanaian socialite Ifia Odor says Shatawale did not give her the treatment she expected after she had done her best to maintain a cordial relationship with him. Yeah, guys, so welcome back to the Entertainment Bar Show right here on Oda TGH TV. So if you are new here and have not subscribed to the channel, can you subscribe? But also click on the subscribe button below and also like the video as it helps my video to get recommended to other viewers and also don't forget to also share the video with your friends and loved ones yeah so if you don't make these statements while disclosing that the dancehall artist has apologized to her for all his past mistakes yeah so he shatawali hurt me he disappointed me and i blame myself for expecting too much from him because I wanted him to treat me like I treated him and the energy was not reciprocal so I had to pull myself away from the toxic relationship but he has apologized if you to Bilamundi in an interview on TV3 monitored by Odati GHTV. Yes, so she established that her fallout with Shatawali affected many relationships with her colleagues in the entertainment industry. If you other said and I could, it's not bad at the end of the day you have to see people for who they are and love them from afar and that's what i am doing with everybody in the industry i didn't even know him until i came to ghana and started seeing who he really was it's not something that i really want to affiliate myself with when i do get to him it brings controversy anytime they see me with a guy they say i'm having an affair with the person i hate that yeah so if you're done at least close relationships that rumors on social media and a lot of people speculate that they're having a, a secret affair you know some of them will say they're banging each other and all that and this was somewhere around 2019 to up to 2020 there about but then in 2020 the relationship actually had a fallout and after that you know things have never been the same between the two partners as we've never seen them together since then but then hey Shatawali has a new girlfriend Mali and if you have been following the entertainment industry for a while Shatawali posted or has been posting on social media after Shatawali was built to perform at the Ghana Music Awards UK 2023 yeah so watch highlights of the interview between Bella Mundi and Efeodo where she spilled a lot of beans about her relationship with Shatawali. And also don't forget to also like the video and share the video with your friends and lovers. See you guys in the next video. It's peace. How is your relationship like with Shatawali at the moment? Are things good? Um, it's not bad. At the end of the day, I feel like you have to see people for who they are and love them from afar. That's just what and that's what you're doing now. That's what I'm doing with everybody, whether it's Shatawale, whether whoever is in the industry. Because there's really no friends in the industry. So I didn't know the kind of person he was until I actually came to Ghana and then started seeing him for who he really was well, is. and is. And um, it's not something that I really, really want to affiliate myself with so much. What, what is it about him that you want to when I do get with him, it, it, it brings controversy. I feel like it, every time people see me with a guy, almost a minute, mm -hmm. and, I, and I hate that for myself. So that's the only reason you don't want to be his friend? Not okay. just that. Um, what did he do to hey, you? Bro, I, no, I mean, you can explain that. Yeah, no, I mean, what did he do to you? Um, he hurt me, you know, and, and, and but it's normal for life. How did he hurt you? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> How did he hurt you? What did he do to you? Um, Can I say, I'll say a coffee fight, Tiani, a coffee fight. Oh, there we go, there we go. Power to the people. <laughs> yeah, or don't tea. Aha. Uh -huh. what, what really happened, though? Um, so, you know, we had a... Long story short, um, he just kind of, let's say, he disappointed me. Mm. Um, I, I blame myself for expecting too much. I was expecting for him to treat me the way I treated him. And it, 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 the energy wasn't reciprocal in the end. So I had to just pull myself away from the toxicity. Has he apologized to you? Oh, he has apologized. Okay. But for me, I don't accept apologies. I accept cash. Hey. Yeah. Well, we'll leave it here because where we're growing up, I'm not sure, but Shatwali has cash. You don't have a problem. Mm. You've been blamed as well for, mm -hmm. for Chrissy Arthur and his album not doing well. Why am I getting the blame? What did I do? I'm wondering as well. What did I do? Did I do something? On the night of the album launch, uh -huh. you were blamed for what you wore to the album launch. Oh. And that drowned the whole album. Really? Yeah. But I, I always wear those things. But So what's, what's the difference? I mean, I feel like people know how I dress. And why am I getting blamed for that? What, what, what the album drowned? I didn't know it drowned. It drowned? It didn't drown. Are you guys being real here? Yeah. None of you talked about her outfit on the night. Yeah. It was perfect. It was perfect. Hey, you see how the gentleman said it, it was perfect. It was perfect. But is it annoying you when people tag you with him? Because I know you've said that you've moved on. 
um, from that. From the friendship that yes. we had. Um, was it friendship or did you date? We were just friends. So it wasn't true? We weren't dating. Why, why were they saying you were dating? <laughs> because I was a hardcore fan of his. That's why I said, bro, every time they see me with a guy, I'm doing something with the guy. I think because I'm just sexy, so I don't know. Well, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. Anyway.